sorry, I don't know where the video cut off. So if we were to cut our circle and lay this circumference out flat, it would be equal to 6.3 radius lengths. Approximately. Now, we want to determine how many times does your piece of string fit around half of the circumference of your circle. Well, if we do that, we end up with about 3.15 radius lengths. What we should notice is that this number here is approximately pi of 3.1415 and so on. So we have about 6.3, about 3.15, we get pi. This is where the number of pi comes from. Pi is exactly the ratio of the diameter of a circle to its circumference. This green line to the purple is in a ratio of 1 to 3.14159, so on, which means half the diameter, which is our radius, whoops, oh, something went wrong. There we go. So half the diameter, which is our radius, is in that same ratio to half of the circle, meaning pi radius lengths will fit around half of my circle. And 2 pi radius lengths will fit around the entire circle. It's where we get 6.3 or approximately 6.28. Now we're going to do something a little cool here. And on our circle, Here's our pretty, pretty circle. We're going to have our radius. We're going to measure out an arc length that is the same as our radius length. So if our radius was 2 inches, we're going to measure out an arc length that's also 2 inches. This creates an angle. This angle is known to be one radian. And that's because our arc length is equal to the radius length. So theta is one radian. Our arc length is one radii, which in this case is two inches. Or if we want to, we can follow what I wrote up here and mark this as angle alpha. Okay, now we can measure out, let's see, another two inches on our arc length. The angle we then create, this angle here, we'll name it beta. Beta is two radians because the arc length that it cuts off is two radius lengths long. It's four inches, which is double the radius. We could also measure out, let's see, two inches and then one more inch, giving me alpha, our angle gamma. Gamma is known to be negative 1.5 radians. So its angle cuts off an arc length that is going to be three inches or one and a half radians long. But we're going in the clockwise direction. So this is considered a negative angle. And this is where radians come from in general. Radians is an angle measure that tells you how many radius lengths will fit onto the arc length that that angle cuts off.